<laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Tom Callaway, and today we're going to make golf ball cannon or potato gun or whatever else you want to call it. Uh, so let's go over a little bit, uh, a little list of our materials. Uh, we need some inner diameter 5 8 inch, outer diameter 7 8 inch vinyl tube. Two of the 4 inch to 2 inch, uh, these things. Two 4 inch to 2 inch coupling pieces, uh, reducers, I guess is what they're called. A 2 inch to 1 and a half inch coupler thing looks like this. It can fit right in here. And then a one and a half inch to a half inch bushing. So it can fit in there like that. The seven eighths outer inch uh, vinyl should be able to just go right into the end of that like that. This is gonna be our combustion chamber. It was a four inch by two, uh, two foot. They didn't have any PVC pipe available. So I did um, DWV. PVC is available, use PVC, uh, because DWV is not as good for high pressure uh, situations like a potato can. But I just wanted to get this done with a single trip to Lowe's. Uh, so I'm just showing you what I was able to do on one trip to Lowe's to get this thing done. Um, I probably got way more pipe than I needed, uh, vinyl tube than I needed. Uh, but the plan is to stick these all together with Gorilla Glue and then uh, get a two inch pipe that goes into the end of this. And this is going to be our uh, barrel, I guess. And so it's going to be kind of, you know, all put together like that. So uh, let's see if we can put this stuff together. Um, oh, and we need a basic torch and a propane. Never having the propane torches. Is this just go into here? That's not gonna work. And whenever we're doing stuff like this, I like to have the fire extinguisher on hand. Just we're gonna plug this thing, the end of this tube, into this bushing, into this other bushing into the reducer and into the pipe, and that's gonna create our combustion chamber. Um, but we don't need this long of a tube for all this. So I'm gonna cut this down a bit. And the goal here was to be able to do this entire project with a single trip to Lowe's. Um, I would've done Home Depot, but they didn't have almost any of the materials that I needed to do this project. So it's good to have some extra tube around. And so we are going to plug that into there. So get your Gorilla Glue. By the way, I've never made a potato can before. This is a first time experience for me. Next piece, let's get this guy on there. And all of this can dry after we put it together. So, uh, whatever, let's just put it all together right now. Okay, and that piece goes into there. Gorilla glue, you know, should do the job. You know what? I'm gonna use some gloves because I don't want to get this stuff stuck to my hands. Also it makes it easier to spread it with your fingers. And 
in. Combustion chamber, four inch by two foot pipe. This pipe might be too big. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. It's probably a better way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it. It's probably a good idea to let some of this stuff dry before we move on to the next steps. So it doesn't slip out like that. I have an idea. While I for it to dry, I'm going to duct tape it uh, so it doesn't move around. Again, I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. It's just how I'm doing it. Hopefully it will move around less now. I mean, they're already pretty tight, but this couldn't hurt. So now, this should be loud. If I'm not mistaken. Exactly what I needed just yet. Hmm. I think we can figure this out. All right. So after some trial and error, I figured out that my combustion chamber was too big. I had to cut it down to eight inches. Uh, so I've got some leftover material here, and the torch that I had was wrong. So if you want to make one of these. You need to get not a torch that has a teeny little head like this, but you have to get one that has a big head like this. Um, that's, that makes all the difference because to get the perfect seal on this tube, uh, it has to be the big head, and then it'll be nice, a nice solid seal. That's all I have to do is cut this down to eight inches and get that different kind of torch. So now. There. Uh, so now we've got our cannon, uh, the basics of it, and uh, we have so we have an eight inch, uh, a four inch tube uh, by eight inches. If you want to get the clear tube, you have to go to Home Depot. I couldn't find it at Lowe's, uh, but they sell the clear version, which looks a lot better for this application at Home Depot. Uh, but here's what we got so far. Uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even going to taper, taper glue this up right now. I'm just going to see if I can launch this red solo cup. There we go. Instant uh, potato cannon or golf ball cannon or whatever else. Uh, I was thinking about drilling a little uh, hole in here. I was just dr uh, drilling a screw through there so I could drop stuff down there and it would catch. Either that or using some kind of uh, like a wire mesh or something uh, before I seal these so I could just drop stuff down there and it would uh, be perfectly fine. But now we got our potato cam. There we go. So don't let anyone fool you. It's by no means perfect. Uh, there's better ways to do it. Probably more calculated. But this way works. Uh, just be careful with it. And uh, you know, use PVC if you need to. But that's the fastest way I've seen to produce a potato cannon. Hot, so use gloves when you're handling this. Alright, so now that we have a working prototype, let's 
get this cleaned up and uh, put together and made a little, little bit safer. Um, so if you have any sandpaper laying around, use it to rough up the edges here a little bit, the outside of this tube as well. So when you glue them all together, the glue has a little bit better chance of sticking uh, or if you're using epoxy, that too. Um, I'm gonna leave this pipe unattached so I can later come in and add like that wire mesh I was talking about, uh, like a kind of like, you know, like a wire mesh or something, just to make it so when I drop in a tennis ball or something, or a golf ball, it just stays. So uh, let's grab our, I'm using Gorilla Glue, so let's grab the Gorilla Glue. I'm just gonna seal it up. Change my mind. I'll just drill a drill a hole or uh, drill a screw right through the barrel there and use that as a stopper. The only reason I'm using Gorilla Glue instead of epoxy is because it was right next to the epoxy at Home Depot, and I decided this was probably more reusable. So now that's our completed gun. Um, you'll notice. I took the tape off this part, and this tube actually can still come right out. I wasn't able to get it to stick in there, but uh, just jam it in there pretty good, and it'll be fine. It's not coming out. And so I found these teeny little Gatorade bottles. We'll go just over, um, just over the side, They're just over the size of this two-inch barrel. So. Cut the top off here. And I should have myself a little projectile. I'm gonna see if this will, uh, or how far this will shoot, or how strong, not how far, because uh, I don't want to break my garage and it's too late. Uh, you know what? This tube is actually pretty loose, so uh, until this glue dries, I'm gonna duct tape it just like I did last night. The other pieces. At least until it dries. All right, let's make a target. All right, so I found a cardboard box and a blanket. Let's see how she fires. She doesn't fire. <laughs> that was loud. So uh, this little Gatorade cap works great as a seal to load the potato gun. So if you try to fire it off, it's not going to work. But as soon as you remove that cap, it's charged and it will fire. Just like that. We've got ourselves a really powerful potato cannon. And it's really easy to use. So uh, if you're gonna load the potato cannon, just a couple of tips. Make sure that whatever you're loading in there isn't a super airtight seal, otherwise uh, it's not gonna ignite the way that you want it to. Just leave a little bit of room. Um, but this thing will fire pretty loudly and pretty far. It sounds kinda like a gunshot. Um, but I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I'm really surprised with the results. I mean, I found some schematics on Backyard Scientist, um, which gave me the idea for this, but I couldn't find any of the materials that I needed at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, so I just kind of improvised and found uh, different materials that would work because I wanted to get this done. I didn't want to go to like a plumbing store. Because apparently, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's don't sell three inch PVC. So I had a ton of fun with this project. Uh, just make sure that you use the, what is it, uh, eight inches of four inch DWV or PVC pipe, uh, two feet of two inch PVC or DWV pipe, a four inch to two inch reducer, uh, another four inch to two inch reducer. And I use two different types of bushings to get this seven eighths inch seal. Uh, and you gotta use five eighths inner diameter, seven eighths outer diameter vinyl tubing. 
Um, again, one of these reducer or, uh, bushings was PVC, one was DWV. I just kind of fit them together in Lowe's to try and get the proper seal. And I just kind of figured out while filming this video, I wanted to use this as a projectile, but this thing works as a great seal to uh, help load the potato can. I was having trouble getting the right mixture of uh, propane in there, but if I just put that thing on there and load the propane for a couple seconds, as soon as I take this thing off, it's ready to fire. Um, so, fun, easy project. Shouldn't take anyone more than, uh, you know, like a couple hours and one trip to a Home Depot or Lowe's. You should be able to build this. Have fun if you guys are doing this. Be safe. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Have a great day. If you want me to shoot anything specific out of this and see how it does, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll take it out with some friends and we'll uh, choose potato cannons. Thanks a lot, guys. And to finish it off, I'm just going to shoot the cup at the door, see what happens. Have a great day, guys.